With GMA exclusive, tennis superstar Venus Williams dropped out of her U.S. Open match Wednesday just minutes before she was supposed to take on the take the, to the court. The reason, a surprise diagnosis of Sjogren's syndrome. It is a rare disease that we'll learn more about in just a moment, but we're here to welcome Venus Williams to our studio. Good to have you here. Thank you very This much. was such upsetting news to so many sports fans, millions of tennis fans yesterday. How long have you been feeling the symptoms of this disease? Um, you know, I think I've had issues with uh, Sjogren's for a while. I just wasn't diagnosed and um, I was diagnosed this summer, um, a few weeks ago actually, and mm -hmm. I'd been struggling this summer. And I, I came to learn that it, that it takes an average of six and a half years for people to get diagnosed. So um, it's, a, wow. it's a long That's journey. a long time. Yeah. What, tell me what you were feeling. I mean, obviously as an elite athlete, you are incredibly attuned to your body. What symptoms were you experiencing? Well, I, for many, many years, I always felt like no matter how much I trained, I never had stamina. And so I would go to the doctor and say, I don't feel like I can get in shape. And so when you only have that symptom, you know, it's tough to find something. And then about four years ago, I felt like I wasn't getting enough air. And so I got diagnosed with exercise-induced asthma, mm. but my medicines never worked. So for years and years and years, you know, I, you know, had trouble with stamina and continuing and just on and on and on and until this summer when I started to have more definite symptoms outside of that. And what were those symptoms? Were they joint pain, um, anything joint like that? Joint pain. My hand started swelling. My joints started to um, kind of change shape. Um, I had some of the classic symptoms, dry eyes and dry mouth. And then, um, you know, I lost a lot of feel. Like I would miss shots by feet and I just couldn't feel my hands. And my hands would hurt when I was playing. And I had swelling and numbness and then uh, fatigue, which was really um, debilitating. I just didn't have any energy in. and it's not that you don't have energy you just feel beat up right yeah well you have been an athlete who has never once ever complained of injury or illness you have really let your playing do your talking um, in that sense uh, was it a relief then to finally get this diagnosis because you were missing a lot of the warm-up tournaments um, for the US Open the hard court tournaments was it a relief to have somebody finally tell you okay you're not imagining this yeah it, it's a huge relief because as an athlete it's everything's physical for me everything is is being fit and being in shape and for so many years not to feel um, at my top at all it was tough and just more of a relief like okay now I know what I'm dealing with now I, I have an opportunity to feel better so I think the worst thing the best thing that could have happened for me this summer was actually to feel worse so mm -hmm. I could get better right this disease cannot be cured but it can be treated what are you going to do to treat it? How, how are you going to, you and your uh, doctors? Well, some of the long-term treatments, uh, I have to be patient. Uh, take a few months, three to six months to set in. And there are some things that I can try to do to feel better right away. But um, I'm not sure exactly what my journey will be, but I do know that I feel really positive about getting back on the court and being able to at least get back to normal. And I'm, my normal might not be everyone else's normal, mm -hmm. but I, I feel like now I can get better. You did choose to almost right up until the last minute play yesterday. Yeah. What happened yesterday? Why the last minute decision to make this announcement and, and um, drop out? I was just, I just, I had a tough practice mm. and I was just sitting there and it was, it was taking effort to lift my arms and I just felt like, okay, I could, I could walk out on the court. I'm a tough a woman, a tough athlete. I've played through a lot of things, but um, what kind of match it would be, I, I wasn't sure, and I didn't feel like um, I didn't feel like I had to put myself through that. And it was a tough decision, but at the same time, I've had to come to accept what I'm going through, and that's a, a tough stage acceptance. And it's just been a really emotional journey, but thankfully, I'm kind of hopefully through the emotions now. Well, millions of tennis fans are anxiously hoping you will come back to the game. Do you plan on it? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, Your doctors have every reason to hope that you can be back in, in good enough shape to compete at, at, a, at a great high level again? Yeah, and the good news for me is now I know it's happening after spending years not knowing. Right. So now that I know, I, can, I have the chance to get better. So I feel like I can, I can move on. And, and, you know, Sjogren's is something you live with for your whole life, but I'm hoping that people now will know what's happening to them if they have the same symptoms of, of joint pain or feeling ill or dry, 
eye and dry mouth, or if you wake up every morning and you feel like you have a cold but you don't have one, mm. then you know that something's wrong. Finally, your sister Serena had her own health issues with blood clots in her lungs. She, she said it really changed her perspective on her life and on her career, and, and, and she said, quote, not taking anything for granted anymore. Has being diagnosed with this autoimmune disease changed any perspective for you on, on what's really important? Um, it's, it's, it's so new for me, mm -hmm. so I, I really am just coming to acceptance, to be honest. So, you know, Serena's conditions help me to feel a new lease on life in itself. So right now, this will, I think, will help me to, to feel grateful um, for everything that I have, but at the same time, it'll, it makes me get up and, and want to fight even harder every day. Well, Venus Williams, we hope to see you out on that court Thank uh, you. really soon. And more importantly, I hope you feel better. Thank soon. you. I can't wait to be back. Okay. Thanks so much for being here this morning.